There were some incredible adoption stories among the puppies that we met on our trip from Georgia to Maine. But one of these puppies had a story unlike any other. This is Annie's story. We first learned about Annie when we met Kim, one of Road Trip Home's go-to foster moms. Kim was picking up Newt, who she was going to foster for the next few weeks. We sat down with her and asked her some questions about her experiences as a foster mom. I've been doing this for about five years since they started, since Road Trip Home started. Kim clearly loved the role she played in these dogs' lives. It was really fun to learn about all of her experiences. And then Alex asked her a question that left a real impact on us. Has there been a particular dog that, that you feel had, had the biggest transformation or that maybe came in in kind of the worst shape and came out yeah. so much better? Yeah, uh, probably the biggest one is um, a dog that I rescued whenever I went to see my mother. Kim started to tell us about Annie, a homeless dog who lived near her mother's home in Arkansas. Annie was also taking care of two baby puppies. Um, so I went up there, talked to Road Trip. They said, hey, if you can get them, bring them back. So um, we rescued the two puppies. The puppies were fine, but what about Annie? On Kim's next trip to Arkansas, Road Trip Home asked her exactly that. Road Trip said, where's our mom at? And I said, oh, she's still there. And they said, bring her with you. Kim fostered Annie and took care of her for months until she got to full health and was ready to transport to Maine to get adopted. She holds a really special place in my heart. She stayed with me for a long time. Where is she now? Um, she's there in Portland. She's living an amazing life. And I'm really glad that she found that finally because she was destined to not be around any longer if she would have kept living the life she was living, so. So here's the thing. The very next day, we were taking our own van full of rescue puppies with us on an overnight drive to Maine alongside Road Trip Home. We figured, after we dropped off our own van of puppies, why not make a stop and visit Annie in her new home for ourselves? All right, it's our final stop of the day. Uh, we're just driving through um, residential Portland. Yeah, we're gonna meet Fred and Elaine Eyre, and they have adopted Annie. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello, is this Annie? We had just heard yeah. of the Annie shirts, and I'm so happy you're wearing it. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's nice yeah. and warm in this oh, main yeah. house. Take, take out the china. And... We wanted to find out why Fred and Elaine adopted Annie and what her new life is like here. So we set up in their living room, turned on the lights, and got started. This is Annie also known as Arkansas Annie, when they were about ready to send her down to uh, In by the Sea to <clears throat> be fostered down there, I called Jean and I said, don't send her, we want her. <laughs> <laughs> so Fred hadn't met her, so Fred came over. Uh, we met her, he met her and we brought her home. What did you guys hear as her history? Well, what we heard, and this was a very nice letter that Kimberly had written and included in her adoption package and she, told the story of how um, Annie was originally from Arkansas and was at her mother's neighborhood. And when she went to visit her mother from Georgia, she would see Annie and puppies roaming around. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had a dog or had, raised a dog, but usually dogs will get you up in the morning. Yeah. This dog <laughs> almost have to set up a cannon next to her to touch it off to wake her up. And she goes out every morning when she goes out, it's quiet, there's nobody yeah, around. Yeah, she goes in yeah. the back deck, circles the deck, barks for five minutes, puts her head up and walks around barking, as I to say, this is my yard, this is my territory, and if you're out there anywhere, don't even think about coming out here. So that's how a homeless dog like Annie made it to a warm home up in Maine, through the dedication of caring dog lovers at opposite ends of the country. We couldn't help but think, should we just adopt some rescue puppies? How can we fit more dogs into our lives permanently? It's really, <laughs> we want to yeah. take all of them. It is, I know. It's, it, they really they have a way of just working their way into your hearts, and you don't want to let them go. It's, it's the strangest thing. Did you?